dear students you would be happy to know that we have covered all all the major contents of this course and uh, now we are uh, on the on the conclusion of this course students in the start of the course we discussed the introduction basic terms and uh, uh, some some relevant concepts regarding the sampling and further we extended our discussion over our our discussion over study in the in the various sampling designs in the start we discussed about the simple random sampling we we got to know we studied that how can we conduct the sample under simple random sampling and further how can we estimate the population mean under simple random sampling with replacement and without replacement students further we extended our discussion for the stratified sampling and we observed we learned that how to find the estimate for the population mean under stratified sampling we studied that stratified sampling is applicable when we have the heterogeneous population and we divide this heterogeneous population into homogeneous groups and these groups are called strata we discussed that different uh, allocation methods under stratified sampling for allocation the sample sizes to the different stratum then students we discussed the systematic sampling and we extended our discussion towards the cluster sampling in these designs we learned how to how to conduct the sampling and then how to estimate the population means in cluster sampling we discussed when the cluster sizes are equal and if the cluster sizes are not equal then how can we estimate the population mean we also discussed these designs simple random sampling stratified sampling systematic sampling and cluster sampling in our language friends further we discussed the unequal probability sampling that is uh, probability proportional to size sampling for with replacement case and without replacement case and we learned how to conduct this this kind of sampling using the r language friends we extended the estimation technique by considering the auxiliary variable and we studied that auxiliary variable may be incorporated in the form of the ratio method of estimator or the ratio estimator and then we learned the product method of estimation and the regression method of estimation friends we discussed that the ratio estimators or the ratio method of estimation may be utilized when we have the positive linear relationship between the study and auxiliary variable and for the for the case of the negative or inverse correlation between the study and auxiliary variable the product method of estimation may be used and regression estimators are applicable in both cases friends in the in the last lectures of the course we we discussed that uh, the ratio estimator can be constructed for the two auxiliary variables and similarly the regression estimator friends we discussed the double sampling we discussed that double sampling is applicable when in case of ratio product and regression method of estimation the population mean of the auxiliary variable is not given in advance so we may we may use the double sampling and we can estimate the population mean of the auxiliary variable and then we can utilize this uh, this estimate in, in case of ratio product and the regression uh, estimators friends we discussed the two stage sampling we discussed the two cases in two stage sampling when the first stage sampling unit sizes are equal and the other case we discussed that when this is not equal we also called this two stage sampling as two stage cluster sampling we learned that how to conduct two stage sampling in our language friends we discussed the rank set sampling in rank set sampling we 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 discussed that how to how to take the samples in the form of the sets and then how to arrange them order them rank them 
and then how to select the elements after the ranking of the sets. In this design, we learned using the ranked set sampling how to estimate the population mean and further how to conduct ranked set sampling using the R software. Students, in the end of the topic of the ranked set sampling, I discussed the various types of the ranked set sampling schemes in which I discussed the uh, extreme and median ranked set sampling. And the purpose was just to give the idea to, to you people about the development under ranked set sampling. Since we discussed the non-response case, which is the almost, which is the problem in the survey surveys. Whenever you are conducting the surveys, you are facing the problem of the non-response. And we discussed the uh, method as a solution of the non-response, and that method was the subsampling method. We we learned that how to take the second sample from the non-respondent and how to utilize that uh, estimate that that estimate. As, uh, as the construction of an estimator for the population mean. For the students, we discussed the randomized response techniques. We discussed this technique because we want to learn that how to estimate the sensitive characteristics in the population. And we discussed that this technique is applicable or useful when we have the sensitive characteristics to be estimated. And we utilize this estimate. We we utilize this technique. We discuss that uh, the in the case of qualitative characteristics, sensitive characteristics, how can we use the Warner model? We discussed the in case of quantitative sensitive characteristics, the model additive model that was uh, as z is equal to y plus s. And we extended our discussion by using the R language. Since in the end of the course, we discussed a few methods that we used for hard to detect population. And we learned how to collect the data from hard to detect population. Since I hope you would be able to learn these terms. And maybe you will find some difficulties at some places. I would recommend you to explore the things by yourself. Whenever you are facing a problem in any of the any of the uh, course content, go to the Google, explore it by yourself. Otherwise, you can write to us. We'll appreciate your questions. We'll try to reply you. We'll try to explain you as much as possible. I wish you good luck for the examination and your future and your good career. Thank you.